was the oh my god we have a betty in the grand finals you forgot to play to press something what did i have here oh what i'm gonna see if you notice it this yep well at the bond it's it's on it's youtube the oh true YouTube. okay all right let's go and start timer our final round is going to end within three to four turns one way or the other all right you guys can start whenever you're ready yep names yes yes all right um this is winded walrus 12 versus x runners x runner Zzz. okay here we go all right <clears throat> god i'm so betty's such i I love watching Betty. I think she's Betty so is just an OT. She's so she's an OTK deck. She does not give a... I'm dying or you're dying. It's, yes. <laughs> literally, it's like she she has like a gun. She's playing Russian roulette. There's what she puts one bullet in it. She spins it, and the barrel goes both ways. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, is where like what was it? Because I was talking to somebody, and then and then uh, I was talking to somebody, and they were like, oh, they were like, oh, um, like. What do you mean that it's like, oh, like either they win or they lose? That's just a card game. I go, no, 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 no. But it's yeah. different. It's different because it's like, it's so one-sided one way or the other. Yeah, just... it's, there's not like, oh, bro, that was a close game. It's not. Nah, I either curb stomped you or you took me in the back and fucked me. Like, <laughs> like it's one of those two. There's never like, bro, one zero zero life and you got me. Bro, that was close. Yeah. It's also great too, because like Betty's just one of those leaders that like she's still a good leader, but we don't see her as often as we do other leaders. Yes. You know, she's one of those higher tier leaders that just doesn't have as much representation. And it's because there's so much variance. There's yes. so much variance. She is so heavily reliant on Kadasu. So much so, so much so to the point he's been up this entire time. Never yes. seen that. <laughs> he's too powerful. <laughs> he's the spokesman of this uh <laughs> it, 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 for, for you guys that have been seeing this Karasu just chill there this whole time, just know. He is the reason this deck does anything, for the this most part. This card is the reason people thought Betty would be busted. And it just turned out, though, as she got more and more cards revealed, um, they were not on the level of him. Yes. If she sees him, she wins the game. Usually, if she does not, you're playing a four-life red-yellow leader. Uh, that is just straight aggro. So at that point, her game plan now turns into, I just have to kill you before you kill me. Kadasu, though, pretty much like guarantees it's going to happen. Oh my god, uh, just- And we're oh. seeing it here, we're seeing it happen. So we are at three cards in Betty's hand, we are at two cards in Sakazuki's hand. Three cards now. Three cards now in Sakazuki's hand. Jesus, bro. I, I, I can't, I can't with this, bro. <laughs> and, then, and then it's crazy, because then you play all of like the big mom pirate cards that bring themselves out of life, you're like, cool. When you do try to kill me, I'm going to kill you on the crackback. The bodies are going to get... It's, it's all right. Well, bodies are going to trigger out of my life. And because they have trigger, I will then pump them 3k for yes. one card. Huh. Okay. So we are now on Sakazuki's turn. Oh, no, we are not. We're about to be. We are not on Sakazuki's turn. Four cards in hand. I'm expecting to see a leader ability here. He's only at six Don. Is that what that was? Yes. Oh. I'm not going to lie. I think next turn is the pivotal turn of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and we're in a position too where we can't even we can't even Luchi the board away. At most you can take one attack from her this turn. Honestly, you no, know, two, two. You can you can potentially. And you know what's crazy? He has to go into the, the little Betty. thing. He, he has, has to go, to go into the Betty. the Betty. She'll go five for free, but no other investment besides the discard. So you have to swing into that Betty, and then you have to bottom deck something. And with how little Dawn you have, it has to be a Houndblaze. No. And even with the Houndblaze, there's no other way you can. Why did he make it six? What? What, you, what was he going to defend with it? God. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. This is hot. This is... All right, so we're discarding a card. Oh, my fuck. Look at the board. Just look at the board. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> so... Oh, my. 8K. Four cards in Sakazuki's hand. He literally said... Five cards in Sakazuki's said, hand. eat my ass. <laughs> and then this boy got rushed. Four Dawn to spare. Okay. So it's interesting that he did it in that order because you can potentially, depending on what the belt looks like, if he takes a trigger, could potentially take one of your bodies, one of your swings off you. What trigger? Um, what's the six cost event? If they're playing Red Rock. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. God. Something doesn't usually play it, but it's something just you know. 
eliminate. You know, you never know. You're playing against somebody in a small hat local. Who knows what the fuck could be in that deck? <laughs> this is, oh my god, bro. Like, what do you do? Yeah. And I just played the other body. So we have five cards in Sakazuki's hand and zero life. Oh when did Walrus is getting speed ran right now? Now, to be fair, Betty only has one card in hand. So you can potentially take the board back from him through a play involving a Rebecca, which will also give you a blocker. And potentially eliminate two bodies. And there's only one card in hand, so you can potentially beat over something to do. You could potentially take three bodies off the board here. But how do you not and, lose and from... The blocker. Okay. Because they're about to wreck, wreck Yeah, but then that, there's if you take three bodies, there's still two bodies. There's still two bodies, <laughs> but the hand is six cards. So you can potentially counter out of one attack and Rebecca can stop the other. And with no when when you get them to the point where there's no cards in their hand, usually you can you can kill. So oh, this is what we're banking on. It's Oh, it's the dude from Seven Deadly Sins? Maybe? No. I don't even know what I'm looking at. The the Dawn. Well no no no, I know, I know. I like Meliodas, but I don't think unless <clears throat> Cause I don't I don't recognize either of those girls from that show. Same. Jokes. He just likes Maliotis, but then he has the one chick from Bleach, the cat. Oh, uh, I was gonna say Rocky. Uh, <laughs> Yoruichi. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I was fighting for his life right now. I think we could potentially be seeing a play like that though, because he did um he swung four into four. He didn't invest. He's not investing Dawn, so he needs all the Dawn clearly. Yeah. All right, so he's reduced him. So now we're at the point where Sakazuki could potentially just, not Sakazuki, um, Luchi could potentially take both bodies. And he still has eight down. So he he can potentially take both bodies off the board, reduce him to one attack, and play Rebecca to stop that attack. There's the Rebecca. We're looking at a Hina. There's the Hina. All right, we're looking at a Luchi. Yep. There's All right, and exactly as I said, it would happen, has happened. Now, now the question is, like any form of removal or a rush wins the game yes what does that yellow card do i keep forgetting what that yellow card does i don't know i don't i don't does this man oh that's the um that's the the how yeah but then why doesn't he just do it i i don't remember the description what is that card look it up i don't know the name of it <laughs> it's some it's uh <laughs> two hundred thousand volts okay okay or okay. 200 million volts this is the here we go Oh, there's that one. Cool. That was easy. All right. Up to one of your leaders of character gains 3,000. So it is the Helmblaze. That's what I thought. And if you have one less life cards, rest up to one of your opponent's characters will cost 8,000. Oh, it's that's why he didn't pop, though. Because he's not, a, he's not at one life. Yeah. I was like, why did he just pop the Rebecca and just win? Although, I will say... That wasn't public knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were so. curious. <clears throat> Okay. Um. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Oh, if he can't play another blocker, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you can establish another body, this is where Sakazuki will now just run away, with, run away with the game. He has five cards in hand, four bodies, one of them being a man cherry. Still has a leader swing, and Betty has nothing but two cards in hand. Yep. Oh, but there's three Dawn up, so there has to be something. You don't just keep that much up, you know. That's true, but we also do know there are only there's only like three events in the game that cost three dawn. This is Rep Arby, so if he what he would be bluffing or telegraphing is the three cost event. It pumps six k and then plays a Rep Army from your hand. Jokes. It's uh joke. See, I would have just took it. Why did he counter it? I don't know. You could potentially draw on a target to play off of it. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It, I, okay. <laughs> doesn't matter it doesn't matter bro doesn't like matter. see even more reason i would have took him and then and take the second one yeah and then if it's another trigger i would have two more bodies on the no board. i agree i agree but there was no reason not to but it doesn't matter he can only play one blocker he does still have five cards in hand though he could potentially just counter on him and attack what attack <laughs> what attack with five cards are you countering out of if he plays a blocker well, well, okay, if he plays a blocker, that put him at four cards in hand. That is the potential to have 8k Dawn. I mean, 8, 8k encounter. That's a 13k swing. You are in a realm of possibility where if they swing 13, uh, if they swing 12 or lower, you could potentially... No, you know what you do? What do we do? If, if, if he did do that, I would use, I would use her effect. 
discard the card I just drew. Give him three. Right. Put load him up on everything. Well, obviously. <laughs> that's 18k. Well, that's if he doesn't play a block. He passed turn. He drew. Oh no, he took a damage. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought he drew for turn. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're still and there's, there's so far there's only two attacks, one blocker. If he plays a blocker, it could be a Rebecca. It could be a Borsellino. He'll be in a position where he could counter out of um, a third, a 12k swing or lower if he has to counter for it. So this game's not over. Because he has five cards. So he's not picking up any more from life. So so for him to counter out of 13, four of those cards would have to be two kicks. And then the last card would also have to have counter. Here's a Borsalina. Okay, so now we're in that we're now in that position. Okay. Alrighty. And so you just now this is Betty. You just shotgun it. Yep. It's do or die. You only have one play here. <laughs> we'll see how they do the math. <clears throat> I think yeah. There's, yeah, you just go for a game. Yeah, there's only one play here. There's only one play. Either it works or it doesn't. The only thing that is up for debate is how you math it out. I think the way you math it out is you discard a card. Because he has three cards in hand now. Well, you have to discard. Okay. One of them one of them is Revolution Army. So it goes, it goes, it, um, and then you give the you give the dude 3k. He's yeah. eight. So that's, that is the one play. So that's two, four, six, eight. Um, he'll be at eight. So then you... Okay, well that... Because I was say, the only reason you wouldn't do that play is if you have a rusher. Only The only thing that would change this play is a rusher. Maybe maybe that was a plan to try to get the Inazuma. Right. And then, see, now you do this. I get it. It makes sense. If you're trying to do you use one Dawn to get to Inazuma, power two, whatever. The Inazuma also costs Dawn, though. Your numbers just get lower and lower, and you make it easier for me. No, but it's still, it's still... But you could play it, give it 3k. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. You don't have to invest Dawn into him again. You know what I'm saying? Valid. So, because so, he costs, I believe he costs, he's four. three, right? He's four. He's four. So you'd have five Dawn to play with. But, but he's a seven you have now. two attackers, though. But he's a seven now. Right. Well, because, okay, so, no, but see, but your numbers get so low that it becomes, now it's in the realm of possibility that they can't just counter out of it from their hand. Because there's a blocker that'll stop one attack. All it takes is two two cases to stop. Like, you're putting them on a perfect hand, but if they have the hand, though, you lose, yeah. is the thing. Well, Whereas on. the other let's one see. is a lot less likely. Let's see. An eight, a seven, and... It, but you paid four. Well, you paid five altogether so far. So you have five dollars. Yeah. And then you have an eight, a seven, and a five. You go... You go give one to the dude, make it nine. Swing. He's going to block with Porcelain now. Then you go... You still have four dawn ten. No, you still no, win. You still win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the right play. No, regardless. They, they either both plays did it regardless. Oh, that's a bit Because remember, the only way he gets out of the, the other play is if he has... If you can counter out of 13. Yeah. So no matter what. All right. And then, yeah, now you just load up the yeah, game. Whoop. Baba Booey. GG, boys. That's our champions. X Runner Z. 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 <laughs> All righty. Misclicked so hard. LOL. Alrighty, guys. Uh, congratulations on your guys' game. Uh, for everyone that's watching, we have our winner, Bello Betty. Bello <laughs> Betty walking away with a hundred dollars. <laughs> yep. Winded Walrus. Uh, it's gonna be second or third. It's gonna depend on tiebreakers. Let's take a look. Um. Oh wait, the round's not over. I guess we can't. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yes. there's still other players that have to. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, but for you two, if uh, go ahead and DM Chris uh, specifically with your PayPal's right. PayPal's yeah. Uh, with your PayPal uh contact, so he can send you guys your uh, your pairings. Uh, well, your, well, your winnings, and then you guys will see your pairings as soon as the round is over. We'll have it up, okay? Yep. Thank you very much. All, All right. right. Take care, guys. All right.